Hi guys, this is Bryce with Phytech Fuel Injection. And to kick off Tech Tuesday, we're gonna cover one of the most common questions we get, and it all stems back to battery voltage. When it comes to installing your fuel injection system, Battery voltage is very important. Not enough of it will cause the EFI system to shut off, and we're gonna show you some of the examples of that. So behind us, we have our small block Chevy on our engine stand, and we have it hooked up and the handheld lit. One of the examples of low voltage is you'll hear the engine struggle to turn over. Also, the handheld screen will shut off. So let's crank over the engine and see what the screen does. So if you got the black screen, or even a blank one, here are some of the things that we need to go forward to check. This includes the battery, the battery cables, and the grounding of the motor. First thing we're gonna do is check battery voltage. Right now we got 12.33 volts, which doesn't seem like it's necessarily dead, but when we go to crank it, let's see what happens. As you can see in our scenario, the battery is just a little bit low. We're gonna hook this up to a battery charger, get it charged back up, and we'll show you a couple other checks. We removed the heat guard off the side of the engine stand to show you some of the workings behind it. As you can see, we got our starter, a fuse block, and a battery. All of these spots may be tempting to hook up the battery wire, but I could assure you, going to the starter, or to a fuse block is not a good choice. Your number one option is always going directly to the battery positive post. So on our engine stand, we got our battery here at the bottom. We have our ground side cable going to a ground side kill switch, up to our chassis, and then up to our engine mount. If any point or one of these bolts loose, that could be a voltage drop issue, or if the cable is corroded, it'll have to be replaced. So here I have one of our throttle body EFI systems. The ECU is built directly into the front of them and grounded internally into the throttle body. Because of this, the ground on the ECU is only as good as the engine's ground. So let's recap. We hooked our battery wire directly to the battery positive post. We went through our grounds, made sure the grounds were tight and secure, and that the throttle body was bolted secure to the intake manifold. We waited for the battery to charge, so now let's give it a crank. So there you have it. With good battery connections and a strong charged battery, you'll be able to successfully start your engine every time with Phytech fuel injection.